Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang substitution suggested by equation for solving differential equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo is substitution suggested by equation for solving differential equations. So, kasi minsan, yung mga uh, so far na discuss na nating method for solving DE is hindi applicable right away sa pagsusolve ng ating DE. So, minsan, kailangan pa nating gumamit ng substitution para matransform natin yung DE na yon into a form na pwede nating magamit yung mga method na na-discuss natin so far for solving DE. Okay? So, sabi ang equation of the form, mdx plus ndy equals 0 may not yield at once or at all to the methods we have so far discussed. So, yun na nga. It may be possible by some change of variables to transform the equation into a type that we know how to solve. So, kailangan muna nating gumamit ng substitution or mag-introduce ng another variable para matransform natin yung given DE na yun into a form na pwede nating masolve gamit yung mga methods na natutunan natin for solving DE. So, a natural source of suggestions for useful transformation is the differential equation itself. If a particular function of one or both variables stands out in the equation, then it is worthwhile to examine the equation after that function has been introduced as a new variable. So, kaya substitution suggested by equation kasi sa mismong DE natin, ibabase yung substitution na ating gagawin. So, wala tayong specific method dito or standard method kung anong substitution. Depende kasi yon sa ibibigay na DE problem sa atin. Okay? Okay, so mag-demonstrate tayo kung paano ba yung substitution suggested by equation by solving some examples. Solve the following differential equations. So, for the first one, we have quantity 2x plus 3y minus 1 dx plus quantity 2x plus 3y minus 5 dy equal 0. Okay, so anong magandang substitution kaya ang pwede natin gamitin dito? So, kahit anong variable pwede nyo gamitin, ha? So, kung mapapansin nyo, parehong merong 2x plus 3y tsaka 2x plus 3y yung m tsaka n natin dito. So, pwede natin ilet yon as a single variable. Okay, so sige, try natin. Let's say, let z be equal to 2x plus 3y. Okay, and then, pag dinerivative natin both sides, we have dz is equal to 2dx plus 3dy. Okay, so ngayon, mamimili tayo kung ano yung iiwan nating variable. So, for sure, automatic, itong z magiging another variable yan, di ba? Kasi inintroduce natin as new variable. So, let's say, solve natin dito si dx. So, pag ginawa natin yon, magiging in terms of dy tsaka dz na lang yung ating differential. Okay, so, magiging dz, transpose ko dito si 3dy, so minus 3dy equals 2dx. So, divide both sides by 2, we have dz minus 3dy over 2 is equal to dx. Okay, so ngayon, substitute ngayon natin sa original equation. So, itong 2x plus 3y is c na lang, then minus 1, then dx is ito, yung Sinolve natin na dz minus 3dy over 2. And then plus, so itong 2x plus 3y, z na lang uli. And then minus 5, then dy, copy lang. Equal 0. Okay, so simplify natin. So dahil may denominator tayo na 2, maganda is multiply muna natin both sides of the equation by 2. So makakancel to, magiging z minus 1 times dz minus 3dy plus, so distribute din dito, Magiging 2 times z minus 5 dy equals distribute sa right, 0 pa rin. Okay, so simplify na lang natin. So distribute ko itong z minus 1. So magiging z minus 1 times dz. Then dito rin sa negative 3 dy distribute. So magiging minus z minus 1 times 3 dy plus 2 times z minus 5 dy equals 0. So, pagsamahin ko tong may dy na differential. So, magiging z minus 1 dz. So, plus. So, factor out ko si dy ah. 
So, distribute ko tong negative 3, magiging negative 3z plus 3. And then, plus, eto rin, distribute ko yung 2, magiging 2z minus 10. Then, multiply sa dy. Equal 0. So, simplify ko tong nasa loob. So, z minus 1, bz, plus negative 3z plus z is negative z. Right? 3 minus 10 is negative 7. Then, multiply by dy. So, factor out ko tong negative ha. So, magiging z minus 1, dz, minus quantity z plus 7 dy na. Okay? So, ano napansin nyo? Separable so, na. So, cross multiply ko na lang dito pa baba itong si z plus 7. So, magiging z minus 1 over z plus 7 dz minus dy equal 0. So, pwede natin i-integrate both sides. So, therefore, we have ito, z minus 1 over z plus 1. Dahil paro sila ng degree sa numerator at denominator, pwede muna natin i-divide. So, z minus 1 divided by z plus 7 is 1. Multiply, so z plus 7. Subtract, so cancel si z. Negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. So, therefore, we have yung quotient 1 plus yung remainder na negative 8 over same denominator na z plus 7. So, therefore, it is equal to integral of 1. So, minus 8 over z plus 7 na lang. Then, times dz minus integral ng dy equals integral of 0. So, anong integral nito? So, yung 1, z minus, eto, yung constant na 8, igigilid ko, integral ng Parang 1 over z plus 7 dz is ln yon right? So, ln of z plus 7. Minus integral ng dy is y equals constant na lang. Okay, so ngayon, ibalik natin in terms of original value yung z in terms of x at y. Which is 2x plus 3y, right? So, magiging yung z is 2x plus 3y minus 8 ln of z 2x plus 3y plus 7 minus y equals c. So, combine ko lang tong 3y tsaka minus y magiging 2x plus 2y minus 8 ln of 2x plus 3y plus 7 equals c. So, pero ang gawin is iangat ko tong coefficient na 8 as exponent. So, magiging 2x plus 2y minus ln of 2x plus 3y plus 7 raised to 8 equals c. Okay, so therefore, pwede na tong final answer. Okay? Next, we have quantity 1 plus 3x sine y dx minus x squared cos y dy equals 0. Okay, so ano kayang magandang substitution yung pwede natin gamitin? So, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa di natin, dito sa first part, meron tayong sine y. Then, dito sa second part, meron tayong cos y dy. So, di ba ang derivative ng sine y is cos y? So, so pwede natin i-substitute as, let's say, z equal to sine y. Then, pag derivative natin, we have dz is equal to, derivative nga ng sine y is cos y. So, magkakaroon tayo ng cos y dy. So, pwede ngayon natin i-substitute itong cos y dy as dz na lang. Tapos, dito sa sine y, papalitan natin ng z. So, sige, try natin. 1 plus 3x sine y is z quantity times dx copy lang minus x squared copy and then itong cos y dy is dz na lang equal 0 so ngayon ano kaya yung kinalabasan nating type ng de so pwede siyang maging linear right sige try natin i cross multiply natin itong dx sa baba tapos itong negative x squared sa baba so magiging quantity 1 plus 3xz over negative x squared so magiging plus na dz over dx equal 0 so rearrange lang natin unahin ko tong dz over dx tapos distribute ko to ah so magiging minus 1 over x squared and then ito magiging minus 3 x over x squared is cancel si x sa taas so matitira is isang x sa denominator then z equal 0 so, transpose ko na lang itong negative 1 over x squared sa right side. Magiging dz over dx minus 3 over xz is equal to 
positive 1 over x squared. So, linear na nga siya in z. Wherein, yung parang p of x natin is itong negative 3 over x. Tapos, yung q of x natin is 1 over x squared. So, apply natin yung pagsusob ng linear de. So, hanapin natin yung integrating factor. So, integrating factor is equal to e raised to integral ng p of x dx. Right? Remember? So, e integral ng negative 3 over x dx. So, parang we have e negative 3 integral ng dx over x. Integral ng dx over x is ln x. So, e raised to negative 3 ln x. Tapos, itaas ko tong negative 3 as exponent ni x. So, magiging e raised to ln x raised to negative 3 or cancel itong e magiging x raised to negative 3 na lang or 1 over x cubed. So, therefore, ito yung integrating factor. So, ang solution is itong z multiply sa integrating factor na 1 over x cubed equals integral ng yung q of x natin na 1 over x squared multiply sa integrating factor na 1 over x cubed then dx plus c. So, integrate na lang natin. So, parang z over x cubed is equal to integral ng 1 over x to the fifth. Or, gawin natin x raised to negative 5 dx plus c. So, power formula lang, right? So, z over x cubed is equal to integral ng x raised to negative 5 is x raised to negative 5 plus 1. So, negative 4 over negative 4 plus c. Okay, so parang meron tayong z over x cubed is equal to negative 1 over 4 x to the 4th plus c, right? So, para ma-eliminate yung denominator, multiply natin sa LCD na 4 x to the 4th, right? So, ito magiging cancel si x cubed, matitira is isang x, so 4 x z equals then, distribute dito. Ang matitira is negative 1 lang kasi maka-cancel to, right? So, minus 1. And then, distribute din sa C magiging plus 4Cx to the 4th. Okay, so itong 4C, gawin na lang nating single C sub 1. Wherein C sub 1 is equal to 4C. So, parang 4Xz is equal to negative 1 plus C sub 1 x to the 4th. Ma-absorb ni constant yung 4, right? So, ngayon, balik na natin itong z sa original representation niya, which is sine y. So, magiging 4x sine y equals negative 1 plus c1 x to the 4. So, therefore, ito na yung final answer. Okay? Next, we have dy over dx is equal to sine x plus y. Okay, so transform ko muna into the form mdx plus ndy. So, cross multiply ko si dx sa so magiging dy is equal to sine of x plus y dx. And then, transpose ko sa kabila, magiging dy minus sine x plus y dx equal 0. So, anong magandang substitution natin? So, obviously, wala naman tayo palang choice, kundi ang substitution na gagamitin natin is itong x plus y lang, right? So, let's say z is equal to x plus y. So, derivative natin, we have dz is equal to dx plus dy. So, let's say, itong si dx ulit is solve natin. So, dz minus dy is equal to dx. So, substitute natin. So, dy, copy lang, minus sine x plus y magiging single z na lang. Tapos, itong dx is itong dz minus dy equal 0. Okay, so therefore we have dy minus, distribute ko si sin z minus sin z dz plus sin z distribute then dy equal 0. So combine ko tong may mga dy, so magiging 1 plus sin z dy minus sin z dz equal 0. So, anong type na siya ng DE? Separable, right? Kasi pwede kong i-cross multiply pa baba itong 1 plus sin Z. So, magiging DY minus sin Z over 1 plus sin Z DZ equal 0. Right? 
So, pwede natin integrate both sides. So, itong dy, ang integral niyan is simply y lang, right? Ang medyo mahirap is itong integral ng sin z over 1 plus sin z. So, kung mag-use substitution tayo, parang walang magandang use substitution, right? Pero kung i-multiply muna natin itong sin z over 1 plus sin z, sa conjugate ng denominator. Isang technique din kasi yun, eh, di ba? Kapag nagsusolve tayo ng integral, lalo kapag may trigo functions. So, multiply natin yung numerator sa so magiging distribute si sin c, sin z minus sin squared z, right? Over, eto, 1 plus sin c times 1 minus sin z. Product of sum and difference of two same terms. So, parang 1 squared minus sin squared z na lang. Right? Tapos, apply natin dito yung identity. Yung 1 minus sine squared z, equal siya saan? Cos squared z, right? Yung Pythagorean relation. So, therefore, we have sine z minus sine squared z over cos squared z. Tapos, saka natin i-distribute si cos sine squared z. So, magiging sine z over cos sine squared z minus sine squared z over cos sine squared z. So, ito, pwede na natin integrate, right? Anong substitution? Let u is equal to cos sin c kasi derivative niya is sin c. Tapos ito, transform ko muna as tangent squared, right? So, tangent squared z. So, pwede natin gawin is i-apply naman natin dito yung Pythagorean relations din. Diba yung tan squared z is equal siya saan? Second squared z minus 1, right? Kasi itong second squared z minus 1, integrable na, right? So, parang we have, sorry, sige, rewrite ko ah, yung final form. So, itong y, then minus integral ng ito yung sin z sa so gagawin kong cos sin raised to negative 2z, ha? Tapos, dz, then minus second squared z minus 1 quantity dz equals integral ng 0 is constant na. Okay? Ah, oh, sorry, dz pala to. So, parang we have ito, pag nilet yun natin is itong cos z magiging du is equal to sin z dz. Negative. Right? So, parang we have sin z dz is equal to negative du. So, magiging integral ng itong cosine z magiging u. So, u so u raised to negative 2 and then itong sin z dz negative du. So, magiging negative integral ng u raised to negative 2 du. So, ano integral niyan? Negative u so, add na natin ng 1 yung negative 2. So, negative 1 na lang over negative 1. So, parang positive na to 1 over u lang. So, balik natin in terms of z, magiging cosine c siya. So, 1 over cosine c. So, ito na yung una. Ito naman, meron na tong integral, right? So, pag distribute natin tong negative, negative integral ng second squared z, tan z, right? So, negative tan z and then plus 1. Integral ng 1 dz is simply plus z. So, therefore, we have 1 over cosine z minus tan z plus 1. So, itong quantity nakamultiply pa sa negative. So, dapat may negative ito, tapos yung y equal c. So, distribute natin yung negative. So, magiging y minus 1 over cos z then plus tan z minus sorry z pala bakit 1 yung sinulat ko so plus z so magiging minus c equals constant okay so gawin ko na lang tong second ta y minus second z plus tan z minus z equals constant Ngayon, balik natin itong z in terms of the original value niya na x plus y. So, magiging y minus second x plus y 
plus tan x plus y minus quantity x plus y equals c. So, distribute ko tong negative dito. So, parang magiging negative x minus y. So, mga cancel si y. Right? So, magiging negative second x plus y plus tan x plus y minus x equals constant. Okay, so therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video. Substitution suggested by equation. So, yun lang. Sa method na to, dapat ibabasa nyo yung substitution. Depende doon sa given yung DE. Kung anong magandang substitution na mapapadali o matatransform yung DE into a form na solvable by the methods na so far na na-discuss din natin. Okay? So, sana yung may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunod.